The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored by Prostate Cancer Institute of Arizona. We are seeing a rise in prostate cancer in men and here to tell us about how LDR prostate Brock therapy can help men get the treatment they need in minimum downtime and that is Dr. B of the Prostate Cancer Institute of Arizona. How are you doing Dr. B? I'm doing great. So this, I love also to your part of our Live Well campaign which is so important to our station um, but also it's very important too is men out there getting checked. Um, I know we always wait for of course Men's Health Month but you're saying let's get checked now and this therapy that you can do can help people get back to a little normalcy in their life. Exactly. <clears throat> you know, prostate cancer is the most common malignancy for men, and it can be scary. Uh, and people are really worried about the potential impact it can have on their life, their sex life, their, their ability to urinate, go to the bathroom. And these can be quite devastating. And so we now have treatments uh, such as the one I perform called the prostate seed implant or LDR brachytherapy. We'll, we'll just call it prostate seed implant. Okay. Right. So. Uh, where you really can have uh, minimal downtime. Uh, the treatment's less than an hour. You go home the same day uh, and you can actually go to work the next day. You can actually still have sex the next day. Uh, it really uh, allows you to continue your life without any major impact. Yeah, and again, this procedure is something that's been around uh, but kind of like got pushed to the side because of other treatments, but you're bringing it back because you saw how important it was to get men back into their regular life a little bit. Oh, exactly, yeah. And this treatment is the most conformal radiation treatment for prostate cancer, and now we actually have some more modern advancements to it. Uh, I can do what we call real-time planning, where right on the fly, in the operating room, I can actually customize the treatment plan to that patient's uh, specific anatomy and that really allows for maximal uh, precision and a great outcome. Yeah you said something very important there and that was each person's different so you actually can help people differently so everybody who goes in there isn't going to have the same type of treatment. Not at all. I mean everyone uh, everyone's different It's really customized and specialized. You know, that's what we're really trying to do now in healthcare is really customize each patient's care towards their specific problem. Yeah. One thing you've also talked about is that men need to start talking about this to other men to help them, and that's a big thing um, to know in this community. Oh, of course. I think getting awareness and recognition is just that there's always an embarrassment, right, related to these uh, potential devastating side effects that can happen, you know, such as you know, impotence and incontinence. So it's very common to not want to talk about that. Yeah. All right, let's talk a little about how the procedure works because um, it is almost like uh, prepping for a colonoscopy. Uh, yeah. And so then what happens? What do people do? Yeah, so it's commonly performed at a surgery center or a hospital where you are asleep, luckily. Uh, there's no cutting or needles. Uh, what happens is we actually place our needles through the perineal area, the, the taint area, yeah. to get to the prostate while under ultrasound imaging. So we can, I'm seeing the prostate the entire time under ultrasound imaging to allow me to implant the seeds through these hollow needles. Gotcha. So there's no stitches, there's no cutting, uh, incisions, um, and that allows the patient to be able to go home with minimal downtime. Yeah, I think, like you said, very important, there's no cutting, no stitches or anything like that, and that's why this works. And, and the little needles, again, you kind of like, they're very little, so you don't know what's going on there, because one, you're under, which is exactly. very important which is good. And then you said recovery time. So do they need to stay in the hospital for a little bit longer? No. As soon as they're done, they can go so right? As soon as they go home, they can go home the same day. Yeah, and then just rest up and then back to work. Yeah, they, I so. mean, you know, everyone has different periods of recovery, but I've had some men go to work the next day, some of them yeah. take a week off. Uh, it's really up to them, yeah. but really, uh, it's, most people are surprised of how minimal downtime there is. Yeah, so, okay. Um, let's go talk about um, who can get the treatment, because that's very important uh, on who is actually able to go do this. Yeah, the majority of men with localized prostate cancer, where prostate cancer is confined to the prostate, are typically candidates for this treatment. Wow. So yeah. Very, yeah. So it's talking with your doctor, uh, probably your urologist or whoever you're, you're working with, your cancer doctor, and then you will sit with them too, right? Of course. You know, I go through a thorough evaluation, explanation of the risks and benefits, um, and making sure that they're aware of what's involved with this treatment and the potential side effects. Yeah. Dr. B, this is all very important stuff, and it's something that we shouldn't be talking about just during Men's Health Month. It should be every day, and, and that's what you're there for, for people, aren't you? 
Yes, thank you for having me. This is, this is a part of it. Yeah, thank you, doctor, very much. So, all right, you want more information on, of course, the Prostate Cancer Institute of Arizona, you can head over to our Live Well page right on aztv.com. So, thank you, doctor. All right, after the break, find out how you can win tickets to a spring training game when we come back. The preceding portion of the Arizona Daily Mix was sponsored by Prostate Cancer Institute of Arizona.